Hey guys, and welcome to a bonus video to finish off the rest of this LP. Now, as you can probably hear by my voice, uh, I'm incredibly sick at the moment with a chest infection, but we will keep this relatively short. So, the first thing we need to do to round off this uh, LP is we have to complete the final level again on Legendary to unlock the Legendary ending, which is pretty unique and comical in this game. Well, that was a thing. Remarkably easier than I remember. Shut them down. We'll need them later. Fancy a look? Did anyone else make it? Scanning. Just dust and echoes. We're all that's left. We did what we had to do for Earth. An entire Covenant Armada obliterated and the Flood. We had no choice. Halo, it's finished. No, I think we're just getting started. So, first thing we can see in this video is Captain Key's name badge, which says, Hello, my name is, which I believe is some kind of reference to VIP corporate visits, where they give everybody a generic name tag, or I believe some kind of team building exercise where a load of random people that have never met what from different departments have to introduce each other and get along. It was something like that. Kind of funny, kind of interesting, very much a product of its time, and you can only actually see it in the original graphics. And for our next se secret, uh, we need to go back to the first level. You need to select legendary difficulty, and when the level starts, you have to look directly behind you, and you'll see a load of barrels stacked up, a yellow one right at the top. You have to crouch jump up to that and then jump off. This is important. You have to do this. And then you have to continue the level as normal until you find the Marine that wants you to follow him to Captain Keys. Except you have to run in front of the Marine. You then have to kill Captain Keys, which will then spawn a squad of invincible soldiers. This is the fun part. He lied. You then have to somehow get past the soldiers, which generally involves luck, because they're invincible. And if you've done this correctly, you can get into a hidden room behind them, and uh, you can see Meg written in blood, which is one of the programmer's girlfriends, I do believe.
Don't keep it loaded, son. You'll have to find ammo as you go. And our next secret is right at the end of the game, uh, during the Warthog run. If we get off just before the ending, uh, we can actually go down a secret little area and find ourselves a rather talkative grunt. Who is excited to get back and get his food nipple because he has worked up quite a thirst. Yeah, let's not think about that too much. And this leads us nicely to the final secret that I'll be showing off in this video. Now, I've probably missed a few, but this game has a lot of secrets and uh, I didn't really feel like going back in this state and finding more. Um, but this is the T-Rex achievement, which we have to just time this jump perfectly right and land on the uh, left side of this platform where we can go into a crate and see T-Rex written in blood and bullet holes. Uh, I'm pretty sure the lore behind this is it's one of the developers or one of the programmers online handles at the time. It's something to that effect anyway. So that's the last of the Halo secrets from me. Thank you very much for watching guys. And as always, till next time.